This is a Fox News alert. Protesters marching in cities across the country after tonight's release of that body cam footage of the arrest and beating of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. He died three days later. Five former Memphis police officers are facing charges of second-degree murder, kidnapping, and assault. Let's go back now to Memphis, where Fox News senior correspondent Steve Harrigan has been standing by tonight. Sounds like so far so good, Steve. Shannon, about three or 400 protesters managed to block a section of Interstate 55 for about three hours. Police really just let them take control of that section of highway and chant for a few hours. That crowd has pretty much melted away. You can see the downtown area functioning normally here. There were real concerns that that tape could spark violence here in Memphis. So far, it simply has not happened. A number of merchants boarded up their windows, but there have been no reports of violence, no reports of injuries. There are also real concerns that releasing that tape of violence on a Friday night could play into protesters' hands. Officials were worried about school children being disturbed if it was in the middle of the week. But so far, that bet seems to have paid off a quiet Friday night here on the most part in part because uh, the government seems to have acted really swiftly. They're getting praise both from the family and from the family's attorneys saying, on the one hand, they fired the police officers, they arrested them, they charged all five with murder, both the family and their attorneys basically saying, this was a good first step so far. We're going to need to see convictions. But that fear of widespread and serious violence here has not materialized. Shannon, back to you. Steve, thank you. So glad to hear that so far. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.